This episode is brought to you by the law offices of Rene A. Flores. Hashtag DWI All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the reason we're doing this uh, Monday night show is because Saturday night we had a show and uh, we started the show. We're about to start it. And the lights went out because Hurricane Hannah hit South Texas and uh, caused quite some damage. Lots of rain. It came in probably about uh, Saturday afternoon, I'd say five or six in the afternoon in our area in McAllen. And um, it was uh, it was pretty interesting. Uh, we were we had light. Everything was fine. And I said, perfect. We're going to do the show and the hurricane's going on and we're still going to be able to do it. We've got electricity. We've got. And right when we're going to get on, uh, like at nine o'clock, it was 10 minutes before nine. As soon as we walked into the studio, bam, mm-hmm. the light was gone. Yep. So I had told Rally, you know what? Let's put some candles just in case the light goes off during the show. Uh, which I don't know what we would have done because some of this stuff is uh, electrical, like the roadcaster, you know. But our devices aren't. Anyway, so we were going to put some candles just in case and light them up in case we get into the dark. And uh, well, we ended up starting it with the candles. And uh, what is seven? Like it's like seven or eight minutes. Yeah, and, it's a little under eight minutes. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we just lost feed. I mean, we tried to do our best, but uh, we had. Uh, Quite an interesting evening. <laughs> the light went out. So we had no a- AC. We had no television. We had no way of charging our devices. Um, we had uh, we had absolutely nothing. And, and like when we were struggling without an AC for about a week, we were capable of plugging in a fan. We were capable of plugging in that AC unit, that portable AC unit that I put in the bedroom. So we were, we were able to survive. But... Man, I don't know how <laughs> people used to do it without AC back in the day. I you know, know, my grandma and our, our grandparents, I mean, mm-hmm. they didn't have central air and heat till about the mid 80s, maybe, if they were lucky. And you know what? I don't remember it being this hot and humid, though. Mm-hmm. I just don't remember, I guess, because, you know, you're young. You're, you just kind of, it's not a big deal, you know? But I don't remember it being this hot and humid and muggy and sticky and ugh gross yeah well you know uh, when we didn't have the ac unit it was hot around the house Mm -hmm. and we were able and capable to you know we were able to deal with it Mm -hmm. but uh, this this hurricane we had no electricity at all and it was just very humid after the hurricane because during the hurricane pues it was okay abrimos unas cuantas ventanitas y entraba el aire por uno y salía por el otro so it would circulate through the house and it was a bit fresh mm-hmm. but at the end of the hurricane on Sunday evening about 6 o'clock we were in bed still laying down I mean, what else could we do and <laughs> um, so I slept quite a lot, quite a bit I caught up mm-hmm. on some sleep but all of a sudden my whole body felt sticky and I said oh man now ahora si va a pegar este pedo and uh, I'd have to say that, Rally, you were very annoyed, sweetie. I was. I think I was. I was. <laughs> I was worried about the dogs. I was worried about all the groceries that we had just purchased. Uh-huh. So that was kind of pissing me off. And then you have no control. Like I was just on an automated service call three, four times, and I'm like, I need to speak to a human being who <laughs> actually talks to me i i don't want an automated you know voice robot no i want someone to talk to me so i do want to send a special shout out to all the linemen out there all of the crews yeah. working to restore our electricity and light and all of that you guys are awesome Thank and let me so tell much. you is that there's still some people out there with no light ladies and I gentlemen know, and no so electricity sad. uh there's some people out in the in the rural areas you know by mm-hmm. alton and my old 12 and even here willisey county i saw some pictures yeah so there's still a lot of people without electricity electricity and i'm in my heart our heart goes out to them yes. because you know yesterday and we we're already thinking i mean what are we going to do with all the food in the refrigerator you know because we had some i had just bought two gallons of ice cream i know my favorite and ice cream. I'm yeah like, can't go to waste and so we're like <laughs> yeah i got your texas starry night you know hill country fair that's one mm-hmm. of the best you know and then i got me peaches and cream baby because i love peaches and cream you know <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so i was like man so i said milkshake is it fell 
But the frozen foods, like the the meats, were so solidly frozen that it kept it I like know, a like cold, goodness. like an ice chest. So it was okay. And but I think another day, like tonight, we would have had some spoiled yeah. food. I mean, it would have mm-hmm. been bad. So our heart goes out to all the people out there. But let me tell you, these uh, linemen over here, AEP, uh, we know some personally. Mm-hmm. They're working, and and in the city was working 30-hour shifts cleaning up the place the next day. Mm-hmm. I personally, ladies and gentlemen, um, it was like 2 in the morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, right? Yes. And, we, I, you know, I got up and looked out the window, and I saw my, I saw waves of water on the street. And I was like, I was doing un canal, bro. And we have three drains. We used to have one drain, and it's right by our mailbox in the house here, by the street. So they did some road construction and they made two other drains on the opposite corner and on and across the street. And I was like, great. You know, if it rains, the, ra- the water will go fast and it will recede fast. And I thought to myself, there's probably something stuck in the drain because that's happened before. Sometimes a trash can floats down from down the street or, you know, any some type of debris. So I, you own chanclas, you own a pinche, you know, swimming trunks, you own a muscle shirt. Me salí pa' fuera en el hurricane and the wind and the water was cold. It was windy. And I get there and I see like where the, the manhole is right on the side of the yard there. Mm-hmm. And there's like, you know, almost like a foot of water. So I walk in there with my chanclas in there and I see, you know, uh, branches sticking out. And I start pulling out the branches, start throwing them out. On, and there was like a little, little remolino of water, right, mm-hmm. when it was uh, going. But as soon as I was pulling out the branches, it started getting bigger. And I was like, andale, because the water was starting to come up to the driveway. And I was like, a la madre. Yeah, it was scary. And then I was looking at across the street and there was some stuff that I could see in those drains and I'm like man there's no way I can go across man it's it's you know and so then I came in and then the next morning I got up and the neighbors were out there trying to pull stuff out and cleaning out the drains as well and it wasn't flooded and I told him man I was out in a, a, a last night at two in the morning I was out here and uh, the neighbor said well yeah man I'm we're coming out here and we're just worried that there weren't any power lines in the water and I was like fiate Yo me metí a la pinche I agua know. sin saber si había un power line mejor una buena oh tostada, you know? I don't know. But, uh, not the greatest thing, <laughs> but, I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah, fortunately, hubiera, hubiera llegado la, dentro de la casa con un afro, <laughs> <laughs> pelo todo hecho frito, ¿no? Oh, my goodness. But, uh, man, it's, it's pretty crazy, you know? Este, and so the next day, you know, we, we said, you know what, let's go get some food. So we got in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and as soon as we got in the truck, you know, because I have a four-wheel drive truck uh, lifted. So I said, Night pale, que se venga la agua, I mean, we can go through the roads. We went to Taco Palenque. And uh, llegamos ahí, y estaba la línea raza. I mean, it was long. I mean, and, and then after we got there, it got longer. And by the time we left, there was people on the side of the street in line. And across the street, Tal Pato. También. Yeah, it was crazy. It had a line. And then we saw Sonic next to that place, and every freaking mm-hmm. parking space was taken. Yep. So there were people out and about getting some food. So it boosted the economy for yes, those restaurants, that's, that's obviously. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and then we brought the food back, and, uh, you know, este, yo sea, un little candlelight dinner con la quesadilla de doble pollo, papá. Y también este, un poquito de tacos matamoros. And uh, you like the taco. What is your taco, baby? Uh, taco casero. Uh, casero. Is my favorite. Sí, with arro. fideo. And I love putting yeah. lemon on it and all of that. So we just picked out. I mean, it was yeah. like, it was a buffet of yeah. taco palenque. <laughs> <laughs> Now, on the way back from uh, taco right, palenque, yeah. you know, we drove around the neighborhoods to check out some of the damage done. And, uh, man, we took a lot of video of stuff. As you can see, uh, we drove around and uh, and went through some neighborhoods. There were some, uh, you know, brush all over the place. Mm-hmm. A lot of trees had been damaged. And, uh, you know, what's interesting is that in the area that we live in, there are some huge trees. I mean, this, this neighborhood around here has been around for a while. 
I mean, it's like from the 70s. And a lot of the homes here are old, classic style. You know, nowadays, muchas de las casas se parecen iguales. You know, they all got the same, you know, format, the same, uh, you know, uh, the same four floor plan, all that. Back in the day, every house looked different. Every house had its own personality. And you see the trees and you see all that. And, and, and the thing about it, the trees are like... The power lines are intertwined between the yes, trees that and stuff. This big tree right now that we're looking at mm -hmm. is, I mean, it was the biggest tree that we saw, you know, that was, and you could see the power lines in between. It was very scary. Mm -hmm. It was extremely scary. Yeah. So there, there was definitely some damage uh, going on here in our area. We can just mm -hmm. imagine some of the other areas that were harder hit. We actually called uh, Rally's mom. And it was about, man, I guess uh, about 9, 10 p.m., 11 p.m. at night on Saturday. Yeah. And mm -hmm. she was like, no, ya se paró la wind, ya se paró, aquí no hay wind. She lives in North Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And we looked at our radar, and she was right in the middle of the eye of the hurricane. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, the eye of the hurricane <laughs> is like the calmest area of the hurricane. Yes, she, she, she was so, like, happy that everything calmed down. And I was like, but, Mom, you're in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, so... Yeah. <laughs>